there are certainly days where I don't want to train or I'm finding training a lot harder. Like I said um, to my training partners today, I did a session today that went quite well, but two weeks ago I found so tough and was in was running slower and I'm like how can I be running quicker today but it feels so much easier than what I was doing two weeks ago and it's like you have your fluctuations and good days and bad days and some days where you just don't the last place you want to be is at the track but you just have to get it done and it helps if you've got a training group because you kind of bounce off each other and if some person is not feeling it then at least you've got somebody else there to sort of bounce off or get you sort of a little bit more up for the session and your coach is there so that helps because you don't want to you're not gonna sort of just not do a session when your coach is there but um I've done like a lot of my training over the years by myself like with no coach and with no um training partners or anything it's literally just myself on the track and that can be quite that can be really difficult because like if I did my set if I didn't go to the track today and I, I could still text my coach, like, yeah, these are the times I ran in my session. He wouldn't know that I wasn't at the track, but yet I would still go to the track and do my session. Um, and I think it's sort of reminding yourself of like why you're doing it. And it's thinking like, you want to get to the Olympics, you want to get to the world championships and you can't do that if you're not training. So it's sort of reminding yourself of the end goal that you'd have. If I didn't have, like to me, the sort of the people that would go out for a run at six o'clock in the morning before work I think that's so much more credible than what I do because I would struggle to do that I think um if I didn't have that sort of aim of say the world championships or the olympics 